today we're gonna catch some halibut. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna be throwing the Lucky Craft, which is what I love to do. So I'm gonna be throwing the Lucky Craft on the Daiwa Saltist 4000 and the G Loomis 8'6. It's a medium fast. I'm gonna start off with the Super Glow MBP. It's a limited edition color. There's a lot of different ways to um, transport your Lucky Crafts, but I like to travel as light as possible, as efficiently as possible. I don't like to have to get my backpack off and pull out trays. And this idea is from my friend Gio, and he got these little plastic tubes from, um, from Michaels, and they're really cheap, they're plastic tubes. Comes with a little um, lid, but it's perfect for the Lucky Craft. So uh, I got like five of these, brought out five different patterns. I'll show them to you throughout the day. Uh, we'll be kind of talking through different techniques, different tips and tricks that have worked for me um, and hopefully can be helpful for you guys. So we're gonna catch some fish today, guys. We're gonna have a lot of fun doing it. Tight lines. People will ask, when's the best time to fish, to catch fish, halibut or whatnot? Low tide, high tide and you'll get different answers. You'll get the standard uh, two hours before and two hours after high tide. Uh, for me, it really depends on the beach. And some beaches will be optimal at the high tide. Some beaches might be better at the low tide. It depends on where the structure is and your ability to target them. But my favorite time to fish this area is the low tide because I like casting a little further out. And when it's low, it allows me with my waders uh, to kind of get out a little deeper. I've had luck here. I'm still trying to dial it in. I feel like I figured it out much better, but I'm still trying to understand it fully. I say it over and over again in my videos, the slower the retrieve you can do while there's no slack in your line um, seems to be the ticket. Whether you're you know, jerking that rod and providing those erratic movements or, um, or not. So slower the better. Um, and that's, you know, again, nothing's 100% at the time, but generally speaking, the slower you can get while getting the action on your lure seems to be the ticket. Oh, fish on guys. Sweet. Now let's see if we can get them in. Oh, there's structure. Feels decent. What is this? What the heck? Croaker? Oh, nice yellowfin croaker, guys. Dude, chunk. Chunk yellowfin croaker. Dope. On the Lucky Craft. I was hiding right in the structure. It's been dead here. Um, it's been dead, and uh, this guy just uh, thumped. Um, I was on the phone with my friend Brian, and thanks, Brian. Very next cast, I got him, Brian. It's a good luck. Dope, man. So this proof that uh, proof that fish are holding, and that's all we need. And so, well, let's get this guy unbuttoned. So pretty nice. Uh, maybe I don't know, not too big, maybe 13 inches or so. Um, but let's get this guy unbuttoned on the Super Glow MSMKB, guys croaking away let's let him go thanks for letting me catch you buddy so the water looks so good and I've been fishing maybe for about an hour and I haven't been able to catch anything but nothing like a skunk busting YFC so again like this place you know the water might seem perfect and it'll be dead like it's been um, and then the bite can pick up out of nowhere usually it's feast or famine it's not usually just one fish so um, we're gonna hope to dial in on a bite here. Come on, halibut. We're gonna get you today. Oh, fish on, guys. Number two. Oh, it's a good fish. Oh, look at him run. Oh my gosh, what is this? I got my drag right where I want him. Didn't feel very big at first, but man, he took off. He's coming in now. Might be a bigger yellowfin croaker is what I'm guessing. Let's go. What do we got here? Flat hal halibut, guys. Oh, baby. That might be illegal, guys. 
Looks like a pretty good size, made a very solid run. And then just kind of died like they normally do. That's a uh, borderline legal, guys. Oh, there he goes. Oh, making a big run there. I got a long ways to go. To sure, I was way out there. Come on, baby. I don't know how well I have him hooked. Doesn't look like I have him hooked very hard. Oh, baby, look at this guy. This guy's a, a pretty angry halibut, man. He... Oh, I barely got this guy. Oh. Come on, guy. This is gonna be a heartbreak if I lose him. I think he's illegal, guys. But we gotta measure him, he's close. Target species acquired, guys. Whether he's legal, I don't know. Great fighter, but there he is. Halibut using the Super Glow MSMKB. Let's give him a measure and see. How close, he's gonna be close. Oh, he's short. Yep, just. I tell you what, he fought way better than his size. I mean, this guy was aggressive. So there we go on the Super Glow MSNKB. Got around 19, not even 20. All right, guys. Got this uh, 19, less than 20. I thought it was gonna be illegal the way it was fighting. Um, the weight didn't feel that big, but man, he made some terrific runs. I'm um, just slow rolling it and like I said this place seems to be a magic window bite man like uh, it was dead for so long and then just triggered um, We got a little bit of incoming I'm gonna try to get this guy out and get the casting because uh, the bite seems to uh, turn on turn off like a light switch So let's see if we get some more guys uh, got one on the Lucky craft super super glow MS MKB got the flat one. Let's see if we can get the right kind Beautiful fish I'm always grateful for the bite guys and we just need them to be a little bigger. All right, buddy, thanks for letting me catch you. Get a little bit bigger, huh? So someone, someone can catch you next time. There you go. And off he goes. He's gonna be good to go. He's nice and strong. It's one of the better fighting halibut I've caught. Oh, fish on, guys. Oh, on a parallel cast. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, feels small, but he hit see what we got here oh now he's running let's see what we got it's probably a small halibut is what I'm guessing let's see if we can get our eyes on him oh it's not tiny it's around the same size as the last one a little smaller maybe nice second halibut of the session Guys, feisty too. These are some feisty butts. Doesn't want to leave. Not illegal. It's a decent size, actually. Yeah, still smaller. Um, we'll put them on the tape just so we can log it in the Halibut Surf Derby. So a solid 17 inch halibut. All right guys, halibut number two on the Super Glow MS MKB. This one's a little shorter at 17. So this one, I actually casted parallel and don't ever underestimate the parallel cast. So just fan casting, covering as much water as possible when there's water's right. That's two halibut and yellow fin croaker. Let's see if we can find that legal halibut guys. Thanks so much guys, let's get some more. There he goes. 
All right, guys, we're finishing up our session. It was fun, man. We got a yellowfin croaker to start things off and two short halibut. Um, you add them together, it was a 36 inch halibut, but uh, it was actually a 17 and a 19. Um, had a blast, it was just good to get out there. Um, I lost two fish last week, including a legal halibut, and those were the only two bites I had last week. So uh, I was a little down and just felt good to land the fish. Um, so the good news is I was able to land every single strike I had today. So uh, it kind of made me feel a little bit better, but hey, nothing better than just putting the toes in the sand, getting out, into the, getting out to the ocean, enjoying nature, getting a little bit of exercise, and uh, just enjoying what we do. So hope you found this episode helpful. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much, you guys, for all your support. I truly, truly appreciate it. Until next time, tie lines. It's still pretty nice and filled in. Filled in. Woo! I just took a dunk. <laughs>